From more than 20 different skills to teach your wolves, to automatically sorting your chests, and pillager trading, these are the features Minecraft needs to add in its next update. And they could make every player's dreams come true by simply adding in every mob that lost their respective mob vote with their promised features. We'd finally get mobs like the Rascal for some extra rare loot, the Copper Golem to push all those copper buttons, and even older mobs like the Barnacle to make sea adventuring just a little more dangerous. But why stop there? Players were promised bundles in update 1.17, so we should have them to help carry our items. And those birch biomes and fireflies that were going to be in the wild update should be added in too. Those hollow logs that were teased, they could be used to crawl through, and no matter if placed on their side, or straight up. You could collect some fireflies in jars, then display them. And even if deserts and savannas lost their biome votes, they still need updating. We could get their long-awaited features like termites, ostriches, and more. I think we all know how it feels to be disappointed by a loss. And with this update, everyone wins, even in war, because we're long overdue for an improvement to Minecraft's combat. I mean, just look at vanilla combat when compared to the better combat mod. It's a night and day difference, bringing the visuals of combat a lot closer to the quality of Minecraft dungeons. Then you could pair it with the combat roll and shield overhaul to start dodging danger, whoa, and shield bashing your way to a more fun and engaging victory against mobs and players alike. But what is that crazy character up to? Oh, sorting through your inventory, are we, Carl? Ah, how did you know? A feature that should definitely be added to Minecraft. The what are they up to mod lets you see what your friends are all, uh, well, up to. Whether it's sorting their inventories, browsing menus, or typing out a long message. It'll even show you when a player goes AFK because they'll actually doze off in game like him. Psst. Hey, Greg, wake up! <laughs> <laughs> A tornado! And it's tearing apart the whole world! Whoa! Natural disasters, if added, would bring a whole new level of challenge to survival, as players would need to think on their feet if caught unprepared. Both sandstorms and snowstorms could blind and push players back, while fire nados incinerate their surroundings, and shark nados throw dolphins at you? Well, that one's just ridiculous. And it doesn't make any sense. Regardless, more intense weather like this makes Minecraft's currently lackluster storms much more impactful and dangerous. And for players that don't want to worry about the weather, the ability to craft a weather deflector block means that your base will always be protected, even if you bring home one of these troublemakers, the Foxhound, a new mob that should be added for their special smelting feature, even if it is a bit of a challenge. Here, doggy. <laughs> Best to drink down a potion of fire resistance and get close with some coal in hand to befriend them. Because once tamed, you'll have an ally for life that will not only defend you with its fiery chompers, but will also allow you to smell twice as fast when it sits right on top of your furnace. That is, unless there are some warmer blocks nearby. They love heat so much that you might just find them fast asleep on a magma block or taking a hot lava bath. <laughs> Buddy. Well, enjoy it while you can, because there's no lava to be found in the dazzling, glimmering wheel. A new cave biome hidden deep beneath Deep Slate. It's a land of fungi and... Huh? What was that? Uh, well, uh, these glowing mushrooms come in all shapes and sizes, offering players a chance at some new light blocks, while lapis ore can be found more here than anywhere else, along with glow squids. <coughs> Aha! I see you! This little creature is a stoneling, and they're often found clutching onto items like tiny treasure hoarders. Oh, look at that one! He's got a diamond! Ooh, get me! No! Eh. Though, one wrong move, and poof, they'll vanish into thin air. Guess I'm gonna have to stealth this. <laughs> and I can tempt them with their favorite treat, glow mushrooms. Ha! Got 
gotcha! Once defeated, they'll drop what they're carrying, plus the new Heart of Diamond item. This little gem lets you create your own tamed stonelings from any stone block. Voila! Tamed stonelings can hold items for you, munch on stone, they absolutely love it, and follow you around if you've got a glow shroom. Or you could use the heart of diamond to craft the new pickering tool. Half pickaxe, half boomerang. Great for combat, but even better for mining. Because not only does the pickering break through blocks you throw at it, but it then brings back anything it mines right to you. Out of reach diamonds? No problem. Especially if you enchant it with efficiency, fortune, or one of the many possible new enchantments. Like extracting, which will immediately smelt any mined materials into usable ingots. Minecraft needs needs more unique magic, like freezing slain mobs into statues with the frostbite enchantment and shattering them to damage other mobs, or automatically consuming food whenever you're hungry with assimilation. With new enchantments like these, we could chop down trees in a single swing, bury mobs in the soft dirt, air jump around everywhere, or even grapple up a mountain with just a fishing rod. Then when you're super high up, just grab a chicken, because Minecraft should take a page out of the Legend of Zelda and just let players crab some poultry. Then we just find the nearest cliff and jump! Ha ha! Who needs feather falling boots when you've got the whole chicken? I'm not too heavy, am I? Oh, with the new feeding trough block over there, you'll never need to breed your animals again. Just placing down one of these little guys takes care of itself, which is great because that's just more time for adventuring and building. All I gotta do is come in to uh, trim the fat, so to speak. Boop. Ha ha. Perfect time to introduce some redstone improvements to our update. Mmm, delicious. Automation is the name of the game. And with new blocks like these conveyor belts and grabby hands, it's easier than ever. Blocks from the create mod can be used to build a secret doorway that also, oh, I don't know, has your whole house hidden inside. Ha <laughs> ha, going down. Or you could set up an automatic mining operation and break some blocks. Not only that, but if you have enough resources, you can even build a train to move everything everywhere. Minecraft is so easy. Oh, uh, looks like Minecraft's mobs could get an overhaul too. <laughs> Adding in a new difficulty option could give us much more aggressive mobs with new behaviors. Spiders can now shoot webs to slow their prey down, while Endermen will teleport players away from their safety holes to attack. And creepers could blow up walls just to get to their prey, even if you're not near them. Just maybe adding these new challenges into a harder core difficulty could be a fun time, especially with the new mutant mobs. That's right. What if these terrifying variants could be found randomly throughout our worlds, each with unique abilities, strengths, and rewards? Like the mutant zombie, which is the beefiest, but can drop an earth smashing hammer. And mutant creepers could kill you in a single explosion, but can reward you with your own pet creeper if defeated. You have to be prepared if you hope to take down any of these giants. Though the rewards are definitely worth it. Yeah! And now that I have all this messy loot, I can use the new item sorting feature, a quality of life improvement that I can't believe isn't in Minecraft already. Item sorting allows players to easily organize their inventory or chests at the simple push of a button. Now, when Angry Ned comes to prank me, I can fix it in seconds. Uh, curse you, punks! Oh yeah? Maybe come up with a better prank next time, sucker! Oh, I hate- <laughs> Did you see that? Huh? See what? Well, instead of closing one door at a time, I closed them both. Oh, that's actually really cool. I know, right? They should totally add this to Minecraft. Like the Ortises. These are new underground turtle mobs that spawn carrying ores like coal, copper, iron, lapis, or redstone on their shells. Uh, just be careful though. Using a pickaxe, players can harvest the ore in relative safety, but if you attack one by accident, then you'll trigger their earth-shaking shockwave attack. 
Whoa! Although they can't be leashed, moving them away to your base in a minecart will give yourself a renewable source of ore, as feeding it glowberries will help it grow a new random ore over time to be harvested. And there would be more than ever to craft too, if Minecraft updated their crafting recipes. This could allow players to craft blocks they would otherwise need silk touch for, like amethyst crystals and cobwebs. Desperate players could use any stone block, even sandstone stone to make tools. You could also just dye your bed instead of making a whole new one, or even uncraft certain blocks, like by turning magma blocks into four magma cream. Then start brewing on the newly improved brewing stands, now showing you which potions are actually being made instead of the default red potions from before. Not only that, but furnaces will show you what's actually cooking inside. Mmm, chicken! <laughs> And jukeboxes will spin their discs around like a record player. <laughs> oh, I could watch this spin for hours. Oh, okay. Too much spinning. I'm seeing stars. Wait, no. That's just my diamond armor. Ooh, pretty. I say let's get some more visual flair into our update. With crystal sparkles lighting up geodes, bones scattering when you smack a skeleton, and slimy particles making slimes even slimier. And there's even more on the horizon with the Wakes mod. With ore induced ripples, side water jets on your boat rides, and dramatic splashes when diving into the blue. Swimming has never felt so good, but don't neglect your hunger either, with new animations for munching and gulping down your in-game snacks and beverages. Even hamburgers! Uh, oh, actually, just kidding. Hamburgers are for wearing, same as all of these other hats. The addition of hats to Minecraft would bring in a whole new level of personal expression and customization. For instance, are you in a silly mood? Maybe something stylish, something scary? What about a big hat? Players could be whatever they want. Yowza! Maybe you could even wear certain hats to gain abilities, like leaping from bunny ears or befriending zombies with the zombie mask. Or you could wear a big nose. Hello, fellow villager. Hello, trading partner. What? No, I don't want to trade with you. Oh, come on. Just get in my boat and then we'll- No way. I'm not falling for that. Hmm, are you sure about that? Oh my, an emerald block? Why tediously transport villagers by boat when instead they could just be baited to follow emerald blocks? My precious. Makes it so much easier to set up that trading base. Yeah. <laughs> I got it! Oh, 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 I've been tricked. But while emeralds are great for groups of villagers, what if you wanted to move a whole village at once? Well, thanks to the villager transportation mod, it's never been easier. You can just pick them up while riding on a camel or leash some llamas together and lead them off. All aboard the train to Tradesville! Because I need to trade for some colorfully dyed item frames. Cause while current item frames are fine, they lack the customizability of other blocks like beds, banners, and signs. To improve them, Minecraft could not only make them dyeable with any of the 16 available colors, but they could also come in other varieties like glass, allowing players to display their items without a visible frame altogether. The more options the better, I say, when it comes to item frames, uh, not zombies, because this is too many zombies. While these green gremlins could use some updating, only the most skilled of players could handle these monstrosities, coming in all shapes and sizes, like this bloated guy that spawns lots of little goo boys. Ah, they explode? Or these wheezing zombies that huff blinding fumes at you. <coughs> <coughs> Ah, my eyes! <coughs> Each would come with unique challenges to make Minecraft's nights feel as dangerous and surprising as when we first experienced them. Even sleeping would be changed if Minecraft added in bed bugs. These disgusting little creatures would have a very rare chance to spawn as you get into your bed on higher difficulties, biting players awake and preventing them from sleeping. 
as the name implies, they love beds. So much, in fact, that they'll completely ignore players if it means they get to burrow deep into your mattress. And once that's done, you're forced to either craft a new bed or kill the pests with a splash potion of harming. Die, you pests! Though, what if you happen upon one in the wild with no bed in sight? Well, <laughs> they just start fighting you! No! <laughs> A bed bug's only weakness, hammocks. Aside from giving these pests nothing to dig into, these babies could be great for day sleeping, which could be utilized if you want to skip tonight for a mob slaying grind. And they would bring a nice resort style aesthetic with a relaxing swing, unless you want to get crazy and swing it all over the place. Oh, oh, oh right. And then, when a player dies, no! the totem of holding is there for them. On death, it'll automatically spawn at the dead player's position, floating around in the air to preserve all of that player's items, which prevents any valuables from despawning and gives the killed player as much time as they need to retrieve them. You just gotta punch it a couple times and bam, I got all my stuff back. Although keep in mind that if the player dies again before getting to the totem, that totem of holding is instantly gonna break and drop all of the items on the ground. Meaning that then it's a race against the clock! Uh, not that clock, but this clock! Although, these clock blocks are just one of the many new additions that should be in Minecraft's next update, thanks to the supplementaries mod. Rope, for example, could be used to easily climb into and out of deep caverns or ravines. You could also set up bamboo spike traps to ward off unwelcome mobs, or craft a cage to keep smaller mobs, like rabbits or chickens, as pets. You could also spruce up your base with a globe that relays your coordinates, or a safe. This bad boy is not only fireproof, but requires a key to open, meaning your nosy friends won't be able to take a peek inside. I will break you. Then pair supplementaries with the amendments mod and you'll finally be able to place carpet on stairs, stack cakes and skulls, and best of all, brew potions and dye items inside of cauldrons, just like in Bedrock. <laughs> Huh? Reveal to me your secrets! Well, now there are no secrets. Thanks to the Inspecio mod, players can see what's inside their shulker boxes at a moment's notice, or which variation of mob they have in their buckets. You can even preview your maps by hovering over them or see what's written on that sign you copied. And being able to see armor and food information this easily adds some much needed quality of life improvements to Minecraft, just like wolf training. Look, I'm tired of asking Minecraft to add more dog breeds. Please add more dog breeds! But there's no denying that training our best pals to do things like use tools for resource gathering and farming or to herd large groups of livestock would be amazing. Have you just taken some heavy damage? Train up a rescue pet to support you and provide some health regeneration. Or give them some water from a bucket to extinguish you when you're burning up. Just make sure that they're fully protected by equipping them with any type of armor. Though my favorite skill is definitely teaching my wolf the puppy eyes skill. It makes them so irresistibly cute that villagers will be hypnotized into giving you random gifts. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Here, have an emerald. Huh, thanks. Oh, uh, what the heck? Have 63 more. Ooh, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> What the? What happened to all my emeralds? Then, once you've got the emeralds, turn right around and trade them to the enemy! That's right, pillager trading! Found off in their secluded little cabins, these pillagers prefer to spend their days peacefully trading with players, which is great for us because only they are willing to offer the good stuff. Even rare armor trims and a brand new weapon, the Emerald Sword. Ow! Hey, uh, just don't let those sticky slimes steal them. Get back 
here! Thanks to the Slimy Boyos mod, the ability for slimes to absorb any item, block, or tool gives them some extra personality. Maybe in a future update, they could do this and even afflict status effects or extra damage based on the item that they were merged with. Like TNT could make it explode or food could heal it. Wait, would more slime make them extra bouncy? <laughs> Well, well, why not join him with this? Campfires could become even more useful if Minecraft gave them the ability to lift elytra-wearing players off the ground with their heat. It would be a great way to get some air without having to waste those precious fireworks. Just set up a line of them and create your very own runway. Ready for takeoff? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I can fly! Just watch out for soul campfires because they tend to have the opposite effect. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! I'm going down! Ah! Oh. Wow! A floating ocean village? Now this would be a sight for my sore seasick sailing eyes. It's a beautiful place to rest, trade with the locals, and grab some grub. And it's completely safe from those hostile mobs. Come to think of it, those golems have it too easy. Mm. Well, there's no fun in games in the terrifyingly upgraded end cities. That's for sure. If anything has needed some update love, it's the end. And boy, does this remastered structures mod deliver. It overhauls not only the cities and their floating ships, but the surrounding biome as well, while also providing some revamped loot. Like this, uh, oh, uh, this is actually for you. Uh, here, open it. It's YouTube's pick. Give it a click.